Hey guys, so Jane here from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about the future of Battlefield 1. What will we be seeing in the future of this game? DLC, new content, free content, and some other stuff. And originally, I was sort of skeptical about this game in the future. And recently, they said that there's not going to be another Battlefield game until 2018. So we're going to have to wait two years for another Battlefield game. I think this means that Hardline 2 won't be an option since DICE has likely started working on the next Battlefield game or they're going to release the Star Wars Battlefront game next year, a uh, Visceral game the year after, and then another DICE Battlefield game the year after that. But we'll see. We honestly don't know right now and I don't think we're going to get any more information than that on it soon. But they did release some information about what they're going to be doing with this game in the future. So Battlefield 1 is going to get some more competitive gameplay, which is something that I talked about so much. The main reason why I play Call of Duty right now is because of competitive. Call of Duty has a really good competitive scene. I mean, obviously it's not as good as like CSGO or League of Legends, but for console, it has the most um, popular uh, competitive scene. But Battlefield said that they really like Counter-Strike and their esports scene. They're going to be trying to work on it for Battlefield. Now, the one thing that I'm skeptical about is whether it'll be just on PC and whether they're working on a league itself or if they're working on something like Arena that everyone could play in. I really hope they make it like Arena so that people can play on it or maybe they give private servers away dedicated for competitive matches because then you can run it on game battles and some other stuff. I am really excited to see them try to do this. They did this a bit in Battlefield 4 and Hardline with the DLC um, defuse modes and some other modes, but they were extremely fun, and I hope that they come back in Battlefield 1. Now, also, the first DLC we're getting is actually going to be a French DLC, I believe. I said Russian in the past, but they recently changed it to French, but the factions we're going to be getting in the future are French and Russian in the first two DLCs. We don't really know after that but that's not coming until march but we have a free map coming this month so we're going to be seeing a free map which is pretty awesome called giant shadow they haven't said when it's going to come out but since they haven't announced the release date yet i'm going to assume it's going to be at the end of the month but i'm still really excited for that map free content hopefully they bring in some new weapons and stuff um in that free content too but i highly doubt it <laughs> um also with this game I hope that the content is able to last for the full two years, because now that we know that this is going to be the primary Battlefield game for two years, I really hope that the content is able to last. They're bringing in the CTE, which should help it a lot, being able to test new content out, maybe even test custom games out before they come in, because that would be super, super awesome. And I can't wait for more custom games to come out, I just wish that maybe the custom game would stay around for a week after, after it's done, because it's really annoying to play a ton of, for example, uh, Fog of War, and then when the next game comes out, Line of Sight, it's gone. So I hope they keep that around for a bit longer, but I'm just still excited for more custom games in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Tell me what you think about competitive Battlefield in the future, but that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.